yeah good day everybody this is me once again Jimo today we're gonna continue with indices just um, a continuation of the last slide before I start with today's lecture I just want to give a brief recap of the last video. This uh, got to do with laws of indices, and I would advise that you take a note of this. Just write this law down, so that when we got to when we get to the places of application, you can just easily refer to them. So, in today's um, lesson, we look at more uh, rules of indices. 2.5. So, if you have b raised to power minus n, you can change the sign of this exponent to positive. Since uh, in mathematics, it's always very difficult to work with negative numbers or letters so indices provides you the opportunity to change the exponent from negative to positive using this law for example I did this before in the first video so if you have f raised to power minus 2 times g raised to power 2 times h raised to power minus 2 you can put this in this form just taking f raised to power minus 2 from being a numerator to denominator you change the sign from negative to positive same with h the sign also changes once it becomes a denominator so we have a corollary to this law and this is the one I'm showing here so this is especially um, very beneficial for those who will be sitting for a jump UTME now so if you have A over B everything raised to power minus N all you need to do is just interchange the basis I mean A is numerator here make it to be denominator and B is denominator just change it to numerator and by doing that the sign changes from negative to positive so another law very important one in indices is when you have a base that is raised to power x into brackets another power y so what you do here is once you open the brackets all you need to do is just multiply the exponents take notes don't add this time you just multiply and that's all you are done so let's um, give an example of this law 2.7 so for example if I have 9 raised to power 3 over 2 all into brackets raised to power 1 over 3 so all I need to do is first of all factorize this 9 it becomes 3 raised to power 2 and every other thing remain the same so now to open these two brackets this one and this one all I need to do is just multiply all the exponents as uh, presented here and if you simplify all you have here you are going to have 3 raised to power 1 which is same as 3 so another very important rule here is you just take note of this whatever whenever you come across anything raised to power 0 it is 1 for example b raised to power 0 is 1 58 raised to power 0 is 1 1 million raised to power 0 is 1 take note so let's uh, go and look at some examples uh, this is from YEG SSCE of 1988 question number 3 
simplify 27 raised to the power 1 over 3 and everything raised to the power 2 so the solution uh, looks like this first of all factorize 27 and it becomes 3 raised to the power 3 so every other thing just rewrite them the way they are before so now for you to open these brackets you just multiply all the exponents as we have here 3 cancel 3 and all you have is just um, 1 and 2 which is 1 times 2 and that is 3 raised to power 2 and the final answer is 9 very simple you can see and this is a mark in um, the objective part of y so this uh, similar questions to this can also be found below and this is jump this time you can see and you don't have time in jump you have to be fast so try to solve this one you should get 8 okay so um, let's proceed another example here is this simplify 16 over 81 everything raised to power 1 over 4 so the solution goes thus so just I repeat um, what, what I have here I repeat here and what do we do after this you have 16 over 81 so from 2.3 um, I mean the, the, the rules have stated earlier you can factorize this one with a factor of 2 and it becomes 2 raised to power 4 factorize this as well factor of 3 it becomes 3 raised to power 4 so from one of our rules so you just take this exponent out since it is common to both of them they have different bases so all you need to do is put them together and raise uh, raise uh, both of them to same power this is 4 so to open this bracket you just multiply the two exponents and that becomes 2 over 3 raised to power 4 times 1 over 4 and 4 cancels 4 and you have your final answer to be 2 over 3 another example here coming from Wahek 1991 question number 3 simplify 1 over 4 raised to power minus 1 1 over 2 so there are two things here that you need to do firstly uh, change this to improper fraction and minus 1 1 over 2 becomes 3 over 2 so after that you can swap the denominator and the numerator it becomes 4 over 1 and remember I told you once you do this um, the um, sign of the exponent changes from negative to positive and um, from there you can factorize 4 becomes 2 raised to power 2 and everything raised to power 3 over 2 so once you open this bracket you multiply this exponent and you have um, from rule 2.7 you have 2 raised to power 3 because this 2 we cancel this 2 and 2 raised to the power 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 so this question I mean this question number 7 was repeated words for words no change in 1998 in Wahek question number 4 so just shifting it from 3 to number 4 this is why solving past question really will be uh, very very helpful okay so another example is this one here this is different because it uh, adds some letters so we have 56 times x raised to power minus 4 divided by 14 times x raised to power minus 8 it's a jump question so the solution goes thus we we're going to just rewrite this division in this form and collect the like terms uh, and it becomes 56 over 14 times 
x raised to the power minus 4 divided by x raised to the power minus 8. So from one of the rules earlier stated, we're going to have 56 divided by 14. We get 4 times. Applying this rule, you have minus 4 minus minus x raised to the power um, minus 4 minus minus 8. So this is equals to 4 times s raised to power minus 4 plus uh, 8. And when you simplify this one, you're going to get 4x raised to power 4. So um, similar question was repeated in question 1b of 2003 NECO exam as uh, I'm going to show you in the next slide 3 divided by 5 raised to the power minus 1 x so to simplify this uh, one you just put it in this form change this division to um, over so and the next thing is bring the like terms together 5 3 and 5 so I have all of them together here and the x also on one side so I have x raised to the power 2 x raised to the power minus 3 and x so what do I do 5 here 5 here so 5 remember rule 2.1 so I have 5 1 minus minus 1 okay that's this 5 here okay and since 3 is a different base I can't do anything now so I have this one then I still have my uh, 1 over 3 you know this is negative if I bring it down it becomes positive now I have uh, x raised to power 2 since uh, all I have here is x x x I can just take one of the bases and uh, work with the exponents appropriately okay so now I have this one x raised to power um, x raised to power 2 plus minus 3 minus 1 so after simplification minus minus becomes plus so 1 plus 1 1 over 3 then if I simplify this one as well 2 minus 3 minus 1 so at the end I'm going to have 5 raised to power 2 times 1 over 3 then times x raised to power minus 2 so if you look at this now 5 uh, raised to power 2 is 25 times 1 over 3 then if I take this one down the um, power changes to positive so I'm going to have this I have 25 over 3 x squared which is the final answer so uh, I'm giving you this exercise and just uh, try to work on them is Wahek 1989 question 32 and this is the answer if you work it out you are gonna get it similar question just like this was repeated in 1994 okay so uh, by the grace of God our next class will be on indices that involve decimal numbers before then I will advise you to just take your time to revise decimal numbers so with this I'm gonna stop here and until a next uh, meeting, um, study very well and I wish you best of luck. See you then.